In this video, I would like to talk about lighting in AutoCAD. Throughout the years, AutoCAD has provided various features for lighting objects. In the past, the features have been a little more complete, including uh, the ability to add a size, a physical size to lights and a shape, and the ability to have scene controls. The, some of those features are no longer with AutoCAD. And Yellowcat does a decent job in doing rendering if it's the only package you've got. Uh, so once you've created the form, realize that you can just push a button and get some sort of picture of your scene. It's not necessarily going to be a high quality picture until you do all things. <clears throat> AutoCAD lights with default lighting. You can turn default lighting off and sometimes it will be turned off automatically for you once you start adding lights or it will be suggested that you turn it off after you start adding lights. And I would agree with that. Let's move this cube up 30 units so we have the ability to cast the shadow of that object onto the tabletop. If I render it using default lighting, notice that a, a line connecting this point and this point would make an angle with a horizontal line of negative 45 degrees. So default lighting casts light parallel to the picture plane downward to the right at 45 degrees. So this means that you have, it's very important, the direction you view the scene from as you plan shadows because as you rotate around the shadow may or may not even hit the tabletop if you zoom around. So I'm going to undo a few steps there. Let's go back to home position. Uh, maybe right there. So that's enough about default lighting. Let's change the units to architectural and keep going here. Uh, we've got default lighting. We can control the exposure and we can make it darker and that affects the rendering and you can make it lighter and that also affects the rendering. Move back to neutral which is about 8.8. .8. And then let's think about the white balance. Moving it to the right makes the scene redder or warmer. It's not exactly red. Moving it to the left changes the white balance to make it more blue. So a little bit from the center, it kind of looks a light blue. And moving it white balance far to the left makes it as if everything is illuminated with blue light. So keep your white balance kind of neutral, keep your exposure kind of neutral, and adjust as you go. Light glyphs only appear when you've added lights. The next issue is international lighting units. So in US they use for candles and and so forth for lighting or illumination. In Europe, they use a candela. As far as shadows go in the viewport, if you have ground shadows, they are cast as if a light is along the Z axis above the objects, a distant light and so they're cast straight down the ground. If the object is on the ground, there are no ground shadows. The surface of this top is above the ground, and so it's casting a shadow. The cube is above the ground, so it's casting a shadow. And the shape of the shadow being smaller than the top, and the shape of this shadow being smaller than the cube casting it, is dependent on the projection. So in this case, we have perspective projection. If I go to parallel projection, the size of the shadow is equal to the size of the shape casting the shadow. 
moving on, full shadows don't really do anything in default lighting, whether or not you have a surface to cast on. Ground shadows don't need a, sh a surface to cast on. But I'm going to add a rectangle at negative 10 foot, comma, negative 10 foot to 10 foot, comma, 10 foot. So we'll have an area that we can cast a shadow on. Now, 2D objects don't cast shadows themselves, so I'm going to convert that to a region which to which a, a, a material can be applied. Now, full shadows still don't show up here, but you might double check when you actually have real lights, and if it's still not showing up, try the 3D config and see if your graphics card is suitable for that. So be looking for full shadows. So that's pretty much for default lighting and the lighting basics. Uh, in the next video, we're going to talk about adding specific lights and the sun and the environment.